Hey guys, it's me again. It's Miss Simply Stylish, and I'm back to recording videos. I'm out of school for the summer, and I'm about to do one of my first videos of summer. So this video is going to be about clipping extensions. It's basically going to be my tips and tricks for people who are new to clipping extensions and want to get started but don't know where to get started, and you know some ideas or whatever. And these are my own experiences, my own ideas to do with clipping extensions, so let's get started. So the first thing to do when picking out your clipping extensions, especially for my women of color, is to pick out a hair extension type that, I mean a hair, a hair type that matches your own hair texture, hair texture, or mimics your own hair texture. Um, you don't want to get it, go out and buy the silkiest, softest brand of hair because it's not going to match your hair texture unless you have that hair texture then that's the type of hair you want to buy but a lot of women of color don't have that silky you know smooth straight hair texture so that's not the hair texture that you want to buy um a key or a hint to the hair texture you want to buy it needs to have the name yaki in it uh it could be natural perm yaki or um yaki something it has it needs to have the word yaki in it because it, it kind of has it still has that smooth texture in it, but it kind of has like a wave kind of gradient looking pattern in the extension that's going to match your natural hair texture. So that's one. Um, number two is the thickness of the hair extension. A lot of problems with the hair extensions online is that the wefts are really thick and they're so, I mean, sorry, the wefts are really thin and they're so thin that you can see through them. And that's not the look that you're going for. If you have naturally thick hair on top, the thickness needs to continue from the root to the tip and what's going to be at the ends of your hair are going to be the hair extensions so you don't need to go from thick 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 to thin little pieces down here like thin thin strands down here that's not a good look for anybody so um, thickness if you're going to make them yourself I would suggest that you take two extension I mean measure your extension to your hair cut that and then take the same piece that you just measured put it against the extension again, the weft of the extension, and cut it and make it um, thick. Make the wefts uh, t like basically two ply, two pieces thick. So you're going to take um, two pieces of extension and sew the clips on that and secure them by sewing the clips on that, okay? And that makes any sense. Two ply thick. Think of two ply paper. You don't want one ply extensions, you want two ply extensions, if that makes any sense. Um, and three, hair color. Uh, same thing, if you're going to order your clipping extensions online, you have to be really careful with the hair color because sometimes hair color can look way, one way online, you get them at home and it looks totally different, or you look at your hair color in your house and then you go outside and you notice it's not the same color because inside this is artificial lighting. Outside that's natural lighting. Natural lighting shows all of, it shows everything. It shows everything. So online you say you got a two but you probably needed a one or something like that it'll show outside in natural lighting and you're not going to be wearing your clipping extensions all curled jazzed up inside the house which I hope you're not I mean you can and that's okay if you want to but you know I don't know who does that but anyways um yeah you want to make sure you get color that naturally matches yours and that's kind of hard to do when you're ordering offline because some things aren't true to color as you would think they will be so those are my three basic tips for you know, going out into your adventure of clipping extensions, making your own, doing your own, etc. Um, I know a lot of people buy them offline. I chose not to buy them offline. I chose to make them myself. I'm going to do another video on how I made them and how I blend them and all that jazz. So stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.